Calperum Station is a 242,800 hectare pastoral lease located in eastern South Australia. The station lies near the transition from semi-arid to arid zone. It supports extensive areas of Mallee, some chenopod shrublands and riparian woodlands, and ephemeral wetlands. Calperum Station is a, a long established pastoral lease in the, in the Riverland of South Australia. Um, after about 150 years of grazing, it was actually purchased with private philanthropic funds and Commonwealth Government money, destocked, and since the mid-90s it's been used really as a landscape management training area, a place for communities to try new things about managing landscapes and get involved, and more importantly, a place for education and training and capacity building. The station is also the perfect backdrop where students from La Trobe University's Aubrey Wodonga and Melbourne campuses are introduced to the ecology of the Australian Arid Zone. Arid Zone Ecology is one of two new field trip based subjects offered by the Department of Environmental Management and Ecology at La Trobe Aubrey Wodonga. Students undertake ecological research in the field, reinforcing and extending their capacity in this area. We're out here looking at how um, erosion has sort of affected this area over the last 25, 30 odd years. I think it's gotten pretty bad, but um, not sure of the extent of it at the moment because no, no tests have ever been really done. For eight days at Calperum Station, undergraduate students study organisms and ecosystems through daytime excursions, team-based research projects, and through daily discussions and lectures. This subject came about because uh, some of us have a great deal of enthusiasm for arid Australia, and after all, 70% of Australia is arid. It's an important part of the uh, geography of Australia. And we wanted to take some students out, let them have a bit of a look at, at at least a little bit of this, as well as develop their field techniques. What we're doing is trialling out an application, seeing how we can use this iPad in the field and make use of it. So what I'm using it for now is taking photos, using the 8 megapixel camera, taking videos, um, taking notes on it, and at the end of the camp I'm able to then transfer it onto the internet and give it to all my team members. In both subjects, students are split up into approximately eight groups and look at different components of these ecosystems. Some groups are working on soils, analysing the properties of those. Some groups are looking at vegetation. Um, we have two groups looking at macroinvertebrates, one at terrestrial and one at aquatic. We have a group looking at mammals. Uh, and we have a group looking at water birds. So um, they're all going to come together at the end uh, of this subject. and. Um, combine all of the knowledge that they've gained about these different components of the ecosystem um, and, and gain a basic understanding of the whole of the arid zone. We're running a subject that has some online components so that they don't come out here ignorant but they've read up a bit before it and then we come out here and we run some research projects. We're running seven research projects with five students a group. That means they can get together, uh, have a fairly good interaction with each of the staff members and a good interaction with the, uh, the other people they're working with. I just found it really interesting and I like the hands-on environment that the university has because we have lots of practical classes and it just helps with the lectures so it's more understandable and you get more value out of the course. It's important that they have hands-on experience with the techniques that they might have to use in their future careers. Many of them perhaps won't become research scientists but they need to understand how research scientists work and the, and the limitations and the strengths of the kind of data that research scientists get. Earlier this year, close to 40 students took part in a similar subject conducted in alpine and subalpine ecosystems at the Bogong High Plains near Falls Creek. These subjects can potentially be an important part of many science courses, as both the arid zone ecology and alpine ecology provide new methods to learn in these fields.